learning about science in our school and we've come here to the Natural History Museum to learn more. There's so much to do here, so we're going to split into teams and see what we can find. We're here at the school reception. We've dropped off our bags and are about to become dino scientists. While Abby's team is getting ready, we've gone outside to explore nature. We're in the wildlife garden and we're pond dipping. Yeah. That's moving. That's actually really cute. What, what is it? A snail. I don't know. It's, it's got that shell thing. Here, you can become an explorer of the natural world, searching for clues about habitats, looking at leaf shapes, and learning about animals that might be living in your own back garden. The great outdoors is exciting, but inside there is something much more terrifying to face. We're about to meet T-Rex, the scariest dinosaur that ever walked the planet. I'd love to have that as a pet. You can find out what dinosaurs looked like, sounded like and felt like. This is alligator skin, it's weird though. The texture is like... You can also take a journey into the past and find out how life evolved. We're about to travel back in time to meet a famous character and hear about his story. Darwin. That's right. Why is your statue the best place of the museum? Well, I am quite famous. Why is that? Well, in the middle of the 19th century, I published a book called On the Origin of Species that told the whole world my theories about life on Earth and how life has come to be the way it is. You can also meet live animals and find out how they sense the world they live in. We're going to the Attenborough Studios to take part in a live show. I want somebody to come and help me. Yeah, to come and help us take a piece. Yes, you come down. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> okay, so this is a, he's a green iguana. And if you look closely, can you see where his eyes are? So his eyes on the side of his head, but if you look just there on the top of his head, can you see that little patch? Yeah. It's another eye. There's another eye on the top of his head. It's called the parietal eye. You can come down to the investigate lab. Here, you can choose your specimens to examine. If they call it different things in different countries, yeah. then they're going to need a name, aren't they? And ask your own questions. Is this a small one or a big one? Because um, you can get huge ones, can't you? They don't get to focus up the eyepieces. You're a pro on this now, aren't you? It's so cool. We've had such a great day, we could barely fit it all in. The thing that I liked most about the museum was the human biology gallery because it was about us and like what people go through and I found it really interesting. My favourite thing at the museum was probably the kind of earthquake displays where we had to go into this little Japanese shop and the floor would start moving. My favourite thing was when we went to that animal vision show and I got to touch a little snake and I overcome my fears. I would like to come back to the museum and I would like to see the mammals bit again and I'd like to see it up close and look at the different species of animals and stuff like that. I agree with Max because um, you can't just look at it quickly, you have to take a deeper look into it so that's what I want to see as well. The Natural History Museum! To help you plan your trip, go to the Natural History Museum website www.nhm.com dot ac dot uk forward slash education